morning happy friday yay it's friday we made it to friday i was coming in here to make some coffee and there's none in my little jar so i'm going to pour that up and replace the laundry pots just you know doing some things because i'm in here is this usually in the kitchen no it's not i just decided to do that happy friday what do y'all have up for this weekend for me it is the last weekend before school starts but we are done with school shopping and all that thing and we're about ready to go so this coffee is from aldi it is um vanilla french vanilla flavored coffee i get about a half cup of coffee every morning or most mornings during the week. I don't know, it's more of a habit thing than actually needing the caffeine. It's like literally a routine type of thing. Um, but uh, I got this from, there was a set of three from Amazon some time ago. I use free and clear uh, laundry detergent. This was my first time. I didn't, I just never paid attention or didn't know Amazon has a large pack usually um, i get the i think it's the same amount 120 pods from sam's of the all free and clear um that's usually where i got it from like i just said i didn't renew that membership and i was on amazon and i saw these and these these are like i think these are the same price as they are at sam's if i'm not mistaken i think it's like 22 dollars. so i've only done a couple of loads with this but these i think they work fine my true test is like is to see how the fading is which over time things fade but i think i found that these i don't know seem to make your dark clothes fade less or less quickly i don't know so i'm going to i don't know if y'all can see me but i'm going to make my coffee so there's already a filter in there and I'm just gonna add like, just gonna add two or three scoops. And of course I will waste it. That was two heavily rounded scoops. So I'm only gonna use two. is what it's called however i am not i don't know if grinder is the technique or if grinder is the type of sandwich i have already washed my lettuce and tomato and i have a little bit of cheese this time and i'm not going to use all of the ingredients that i used before but i am going to Let's see what we're going to do here. We're going to start with the mayo lettuce mixture. So I don't like these hard pieces of lettuce. So I've got lettuce. Looks like I could cut that one more time. Next is mayo. I think that's about enough for me. A little bit of everything but the bagel. Seasoning, some garlic powder, some onion powder, and some salt and pepper. I am going to add onion. I would like to put the onion in here, but everybody doesn't like onion, so I'll just put onion on top at the end. Found by your mistakes, you know you try and you try really hard, but sometimes Sometimes I fall. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
hot salad peppers. They're not hot. And then I made some pickled onion. Smoked turkey. Tavern ham. Okay, wait, I usually, turkey, ham, turkey. And there's that. And then we're gonna give this another mix because I put that mayo in there. more than anybody else. I'll put a little more, everything but the bagel seasoning on top. And then of course, stirred oil, vinegar, all the things. And there we have it. And of course you could add more meat. This is a lot of bread. Seems like you may need more meat. morning happy saturday i'm jumping on to start today's vlog off it's 11 a.m now the bank closes at one i do have to stop by aldi there's uh, academy sports aldi and marshall's in the same parking lot and panera's there as well so i may go to panera today but we'll see all right so i will check back in with y'all later today so i'm going in this bell store i'm telling you for at least the last two years i thought this store was closed i had no idea it was still open
All right, y'all, so I'm back from running all the errands today. I only intended to go to like three places. Okay, maybe four. Three places in one area and one other place. That's all I intended to do. But as y'all saw, I didn't re realize the Bell's store was still open. I was going to Ross and it's in the same parking lot as Ross. So that's how I ended up in there. And so I did not go to Ross, but I just wanted to show you a couple of the things that I did get. Um, I picked up this and it'll either be for my daughter if she didn't want it or for my niece. She will want it, of course. I got this hand soap. This was $2.50. I should have gotten more of these, but y'all know I ordered the ones from Target and it's there two something for a 32 ounce. But just for the sake of uh, fall and you know, I just got this one. Yeah. This is a, some kind of oil, body oil. I actually got this for, oh, bath oil. It's a bath, bathing bath oil. I probably won't use this. I got this more so for decor for fall and it was $3. But maybe I'll try it, maybe not. I don't I don't know. I have never actually had raw sugar, heard so much about it, and this was $4.19. I don't think I knew it was $4.19, but whatever. I got this. Then I got these towels. Um, this is a hand towel. It was $3.60. One or two of these, and then two bath towels. I actually got this for my daughter. The bath towels were for 80 and I actually did get something else for her. It's a Christmas, it's a Christmas gift though. Yes, I am one of those people. I start, I usually start buying my Christmas gifts in October, but across the year, as I see things that will last, I will pick it up whenever I see it. And depending on what it is, I'll keep it for Christmas. But at this point, I may be able to pop a picture up of it, but maybe not because she does watch my vlog, so. And maybe I just gave it away because I didn't say at first whose gift it was. Anyway, I got these. My son really likes these. And these things are expensive. And they were 50% off. So they were $250. That's, I think. And these are usually anywhere between $4 and $5. And then I got these belts. They were $6. I'm likely not going to wear this purple one. I may find somewhere to wear it. I don't know. But I got this one. I was looking at a belt on Amazon that had like this, these little things. I think they were bigger. And of course they were colors that I would have likely worn more, but for $6, even just for this one is, I think is a good deal. It's upside down. So I got it for this. I wish the SM wasn't, they like these to be a little bit bigger, but it's fine. So I think that's, oh, here's the last thing that I got from Bells. This, I was just saying my couch is blue, so what color is really gonna go for fall? And this, I think, I thought this was so pretty. So I picked this up, it was $21. And that's it, well, as y'all can see, this is what I got from, where did I get this? Oh, Starbucks. And I did a short or reel on Instagram about this on the actual day in real time. One of the places I intended to go was Aldi, I did go to Aldi. I just got, I don't know if y'all can see this on the end of here, but I got some bread, some marshmallows, and oh, some um, baking tins for the toaster oven. Oh, some dishcloths. Those, there was a four pack for $2.99, so I got those. All right, talk to y'all later. it's time to jump back in with some verbal commentary here so on this day I am perusing through Kirkland's I hadn't been to Kirkland's in quite some time I actually think I may have gone 
maybe once last year, and I think that was probably at Christmas, so that is still quite some time. But I forgot about all of the lovely things that you can find at Kirkland's. I particularly was going to get that pillow, that Let's Get Cozy. I ended up not getting that one. I actually got the pumpkin. So I wanted that pillow and a pumpkin. And there were actually two other things that I wanted that I didn't end up getting. Um, and I'm going to share in a little bit of the things that I actually did pick up. But I just wanted to share all of the beautiful things at Kirkland's. And I will be visiting them quite a bit more than I used to. I'll add them to the list with Marshalls and Home Goods. So I do hope you are enjoying the vlog so far and sit back and relax and enjoy the vibes at Kirkland's. it for Kirkland's. We're about ready to wrap today's vlog up. I just wanted to come back and show you the two things that I got from Kirkland's. I think I mentioned there were four things I originally wanted, but in the end, I only got these two. This gorgeous pumpkin, and this pumpkin is huge. Both of these items were shared by uh, another vlogger, whom I love. Her name is Lifestyle with Melanie Graves. Some of you may or may not have heard of her. And if you haven't, please do go and check out her channel and check out what she's done thus far for this um, fall season. I love getting tips from her. But this wraps it up. If you enjoyed what you saw, please don't forget to give this vlog a thumbs up and I will talk to you in the next one.